What's up guys, uh, it's Oki Bassin back here for another vid video and today I'm going to show you guys how to tie the knotless knot while I am making a leader catfish. So what we're going to use, just these two things real quick and we're going to be using a 3 aught octopus circle hook and some 50 pound mono Omniflex line. So let's get this started. We're gonna get about, uh, we're gonna go with about a, about a 12, 13 inch liter right here. Now we're just gonna cut that off with the good old faithful, good old knife. The thing is big and sharp. And put that back on the roll. So we're gonna get that right now. We got that right there. And now we're gonna take this three aught circle hook and we're just gonna run it through the eye. Uh, just a little bit of it. And we're gonna just lay it, we're just gonna run it straight through that edge. I don't know if you can see it right there, and you're just gonna lay it up against the hook like that and then you're gonna take your line and you're gonna you should be able to get it wrapped around that eye it's a little bit tough especially with this line right here this is not my go-to it's a lot easier with like smaller line like this is just this 10 pound right here almost a mile of it uh, Once you get the wrapping started, it's easy from there. But it takes a little bit to get that wrapping started, but you're just gonna wrap it around it. Gosh dang it. Okay, actually, I'm just gonna go over this with the 10 pound for you guys, okay? Uh, we're gonna take some of this 10 pound just because it's way easier with it. Uh, that's probably like 20 inches of 10 pound. Just because I'll have to redo this later. I might, but yeah, it's kind of pain in the butt with a 50 pound line and it's gonna take a little while for me to do that. But you're just gonna run it through that eye and you're gonna, as I said, just put it up against that. And then you're going to just get that to wrap around there. And then you're just going to wrap it around that line. Uh, I'd say about seven or eight times. And then you're going to get to... Ow, I just got myself with a hook. Uh, and then you're going to get back up to the end of your line and then you're just going to run it through that eye again just going to run it right back through the eye pull it tight just like that like it's it's not a knot that's why it's called the knotless knot and then you can see that right there that is beautiful and then you'll just take your uh, fingernail clippers or your knife or your scissors or your braid scissors whatever you have with you just to clip that clean and this is probably my favorite way to tie them off that is easily my favorite way to tie on a hook uh, and right now I just got it on that 10 pound line I'm gonna redo this and I'm gonna put the freaking 50 pound on but you know what, I might just go get like some 17 and put it on there, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that later whenever I create my leader. But this, at least I got to show you guys how to do that. I hope you like the tutorial. Let me just go over this just one quick time. You're going to run it right through the eye. You're just going to hold that string up against your hook. And then you're going to just take that and you're just going to wrap it around your hook about seven or eight times. And then you're just going to take it and you're just going to run it right back through your eye and then just pull it. And it'll look 
Just like that. That is beautiful. Love it. Uh, but uh, that'll be it for this video. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, Outlaw. Go follow him. He is my favorite YouTuber. Him and John B and One Rod and Lunkers and all them. Uh, go subscribe to all those guys. Uh, that'll help them out. And uh, see ya.